testimony continued in the case of a Milwaukee County inmate who died of dehydration at the jail last year. Terrell Thomas died while in solitary confinement. Court testimony revealed Thomas went seven days without water before dying. Ricky Mitchell is live outside the courthouse with more on the inquest taking place there this week. Ricky. Well, jurors today heard from two captains who were working at the jail when Terrell Thomas died. One of them has since resigned, but both of them said that they saw surveillance video showing another officer going into the water closet that provides access to Terrell Thomas's cell before he was even transferred there. An inmate died in custody. It is important to preserve the evidence. Janet Barucki is a former captain with the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office. She and a second captain, George Gold, both testified that they saw surveillance video showing another officer accessing the valves that control water to Terrell Thomas's cell. But detectives never see that video because, as court testimony revealed, the video was destroyed prior to detectives learning it even existed. Captain Gold says he reported what he learned from the surveillance video to the jail commander, Major Nancy Evans, within 48 hours of Thomas's death. You look at this video, you see that Mr. Thomas's water was shut off on Monday. He's left in the cell, he's never been out of the cell, he's in there seven days, he's dead on the seventh day. And you report all this to Major Evans, and she just says, don't do anything else. She doesn't give you any directive to take any further action to report what you had observed to anyone. Is that right? There was no directive, yes. An expert who has worked as a corrections administrator for decades testified and referred to the conditions in Thomas's cell as torture. It's unconscionable. It's um, inhumane. Um, it feels punitive. Um, I, I don't see any what they refer to as legitimate penological reason to keep a person in these conditions for, for this period of time. Now that jail commander mentioned in Captain Gold's testimony, Nancy Evans, she also took the stand today, but she told a completely different story that Captain Gold never told her what he saw on that video, and she actually accused him of lying to law enforcement. We'll have more of her testimony coming up live at 6. For now, reporting outside the county courthouse, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. We're learning a lot. Thank you, Ricky.